It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Houston Texans and the New York Jets under the lights on Sunday night. Well, Brock, the fans were out and shouting J-E-T-S Jets well before the gates opened here. And now they fill the stands of MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, and maybe six points too. This one going. And away we go from East Rutherford. On the return, here comes Davis. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So the Jets take the field for their first drive. They're led out by the four-time MVP who's been in this league since 2005, Aaron Rodgers. I think it's safe to say, Kate, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers may be one of the most polarizing figures in the NFL, but there is nobody, nobody that will question his ability to spin a football different than everybody else. Just ask his receivers, tight ends, running backs, anybody that's ever played with him. He elevates their game, and he often elevates his own game to an MVP kind of level. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. From the shotgun, Rodgers. His first throw is an interception. Henry Cho'o'to'o comes up with it. And the Texans get the football on the first turnover of the contest. Wow, what an exciting start to this game, Brock. Apologies to the former QB and you. It's not an opening drive touchdown, but an interception instead. Yeah, exciting for one side. That would be the defense. <laughs> Demoralizing yep. for the other side is an offense. First salvo, listen, it goes to the defense. And now it really sets the stage for what I love and what you love, Kate, in this game of adjustments, in the game of back and forth. Who's going to respond next? They're out and set, first and ten. Running for the first time with Joe Mixon. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. It's mixed in on second down. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. Third and long for him here. He's got him. That's Mixon. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball. Kate, hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. First down, Stroud. Texans parlay the interception into points. Tank Dell the touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, 
Ooh, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Texans will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Xavier Gibson now to return. Find some space, he's past the 30. They'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. The second drive coming up now for the Jets offense. And time to hit a quick reset here, partner, after they find themselves behind following that opening drive, INT. Yeah, you say reset, I say control, alt, delete. Pretend like it didn't even happen. You gotta flush it in a hurry. He put some power on a deep one left. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception to just force it an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Receiver in motion, headed right. Second and ten now. Buys time, rolling right. He's going to keep it this time. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. From the gun, it's Hall. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. The tackle there by Daniel Hunter. Give him around six, that's gonna make it second and four. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know, and you may come back to. Because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. They give on second to Hall. And his drive forward halted after a couple of yards. The tackle there by Daniel Hunter. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Third and two, Rodgers. To the sideline it goes, he makes the play, Prescott, both feet are down. 16 yards on the play, and it'll give the Jets a first down. Okay, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that... And this time they're gonna get there and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling not for that defense, who puts a sack on the board. Everyone's prepped, it's second down now. Trying again, following the sack. This will be caught by Adams. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. Jalen Petrie there on the stop. Textbook, hitch route. Just hit him in the short field and deliver it. Once that defense turns their attention elsewhere. Okay, this is a low ceiling play, but a reliable source of yardage. Let's see what they went with on third down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Complete beyond the marker. Touchdown, New York! The Jets reach Pater for the first time this game. Devontae Adams, the touchdown. 
There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. Greg Zerline for the point after try. The point after splits the upright. And the Jets tie this game 7-7. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Here's Steven Sims with the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Now we'll see the Houston offense for their second drive of the contest. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. This is complete to Schultz. And they're gonna touch him down after a short pickup. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. Shotgun now for Stroud. Schultz with the catch. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun, Stroud. Into the hands of Schultz. And that's good for a gain of five. Brought to a halt by C.J. Mosley. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Stroud off the play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. More from MetLife coming right up. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They'll begin the quarter with third and two. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And he's brought down for a loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense forcing a fourth down. Jackson's going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. And he's got a good chance to really stick him deep his first time out. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that, and they'll take over at the 16-yard line. The Jets and Devontae Adams getting set for another look here. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Throwing on first down, Rodgers. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. They've got first down from the 31. Rodgers here from the gun. He's got the hook up to Adams. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. 
That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Play action with Rodgers. Flushed out of the pocket. He can run it. And this almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Will Anderson Jr. in on the stop. That's just the case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Here's Rodgers. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And it's good enough for a New York first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Here's Rodgers on first and 10. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the red zone. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. They were in this 12-yard out route cade at the Combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. It's a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Firing quickly as Rogers complete. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Hall takes it straight ahead. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. And they've got themselves another first and ten. They send him left out of the slot. Going to the ground again on first. And it's a game down to the five-yard line. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Blitz coming for Rodgers. And he will score a touchdown, New York! The Jets take a second quarter lead. No hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays that have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. Zerline on now for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Jets break that tie and now lead by seven. All lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Sims now on the return. He's brought down to end that return as we've reached our two minute warning. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's Brown now. Pass caught by Mixon. 
You know, I've learned over the years, defensively, they call that the camera play. How many different guys can you get rallying to the football? So that last shot you see on camera, you see as many defenders keeping that to a zero-yard gain. That's well done defensively. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He fires one deep down the left sideline. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. He's hoping to get it to Tank Dell there. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. I'll tell you what that deflection right there, Kate, tells me. That defense was following and reading the quarterback's eyes. Knew exactly where that throw was going. And it takes a little bit of intuition, a little bit of feel. He's able to get his hands on it and knock it out of bounds. Has his man. It's Mixon. Decent gain here, but short of the first. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. The Texans set to punt. Xavier Gibson on to return for the Jets. And this one is away, and he got all of it and then some. And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. They seem likely to carry the lead into the locker room, but some points here to end the half could make things even more comfortable. To the air here on first down, Rodgers. Wilson on the slant. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First down throw by Rodgers. Has some daylight through the 40. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it'll give the Jets a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. From the shotgun, Rodgers. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Or it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Again, Rodgers. Wilson's got it. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Timeout taken by New York. That's it second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Throwing again, it's Rodgers. Has his man, it's Corley. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Options are open here, it's second and inches. They'll throw again, Rodgers. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Greg Zerline going to try to knock this through for the Jets. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. That brings us to the break. The Jets with a halftime lead here in East Rutherford. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida in our studio there.
Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Aaron Rodgers. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Sims now on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So as we get set to begin the third quarter, it's the Texans offense who's going to be out there first. They're down 10 partway through this one. Score is 17-7. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. He's got him. That's Mixon. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little shorter than 35. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Mixon on the toss. Across the 45 and still going. And he's down to the 42-yard line. Give him 24 on that play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. You know I love that, Kate. But you know who loved it even more? The late, great John Madden himself, the former lineman. He would have loved watching the student body get right out in front of that thing. Those blockers just knocking people off the ball. And let him clear the way so that running back could show off his speed. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. Now it's Stroud. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Shotgun now for Stroud. His quick throw knocked away incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. So now it's going to be third and long. That's a nice job there by the linebacker. He kind of looks like a cornerback on that, doesn't he? Perhaps those cover guys get a little fun with him in practice this week because he looked like the DB right there swatting the incompletion. Throwing on third down, Stroud. On the move, headed right. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more, or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? Punty muted out now. Tommy Townsend will kick it away. Getting about 50 yards of boot so far, and here's another quality effort. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line. The Jets are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Drive starts out with a first and ten. A pistol snap here, Rodgers. This will be caught by Adams. And he's brought down. They're spotting this one right at the 20. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Short side option here. He's running left. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cave, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another hit at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Third and four coming up now. Rogers here from the gun. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. 
Jimmy Ward has it. And the Texans will be on the doorstep of the end zone as he is stopped just short of a pick six. Well, Brock, they left the locker room in front. Great position to be in, right? But a shaky start to half number two with that interception right there. We know that no lead in this league is safe ever, ever, ever. A one-point lead, something that looks insurmountable. They all seemingly come down to the final possession anyway. And with a whole half of football left, you just can't give away too many possessions like that. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. And they'll only need to figure out a couple of yards here. They're going to start with first and goal from the two. Mixon goes up and over for the touchdown. The Texans pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Fairbairn connects on the extra point. And the Texans cut it to a field goal game. Texans 14. Ball is set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. On the return, here comes Davis. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. A tight end in motion now. They start to drive with Hall. Jukes one defender. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 37. Cut by Lazar. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. It's a gain of four. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Dialing up a receiver screen. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Offense to the line for second down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Able to find Corley. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Third and six for them to figure out now. Throwing once again, Rodgers. He'll get this one to Adams. And he's going to take this across. Touchdown, New York. The Jets make it a nine-point advantage. Devontae Adams, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Right. Zerline on now for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Jets make it a 10-point ball game. It's 
It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Damian Pierce now to return it. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Texans and running back Joe Mixon headed out for their next series. And they have tried on occasion to ramp up their passing game, but just nothing has worked with consistency yet, Brock. Might be why they trail near the end of this third quarter. You sure love teams who excel on the ground, right? You love a physical game of football who can hammer at the opponent. But in today's NFL, it's just impossible to win if you don't have a passing component that's balancing it out. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. So much to like about that room, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. Mix it on the counter. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Kate, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh uh. It's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. First down, Stroud. That's completed right side. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And it sets up a Houston first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. And he's brought down after a solid gain on what's going to be the final play of the quarter. That's the end of the third on Sunday night. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. Second and six coming up here. Keeping it with Mixon. And he's brought down for a loss. Good defense tackles in this league, Kate. They can take up a couple blockers. Great defense tackles. Well, they stuff the stat sheet just like that, knocking that run backwards before we could get started. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. From the gun, Stroud. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Couldn't connect to a tank tail. And that makes it fourth down. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Gibson now to return. And look at this return. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The home teams ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. Here's first and 10 from the 34. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. And the first down pass sent away by a defender incomplete. Wanted to fit that one into Devontae Adams. And now it's second down. Read and react. Read and react. Read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And you got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. We get to Hall on the draw. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline in his O-line, and go, what am I supposed to do there? 
there was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Rogers throwing on third down. He has the first over the middle. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. To throw, Rodgers. That's complete to Wilson. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it'll give the Jets a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs? when you need only one. Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he's gonna be brought down at the 35-yard line. You know what I love to say, you never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. Shotgun snap, a give to Hall. He finds space into the red zone. And finally, they catch up to him at the 11. They got 24 yards on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming on the broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it. Up close and personal, because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Good luck defending that short-yardage slam. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. running between the tackles. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So we're down to the two minute warning here from New York. Jets leading by seven. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here's Hall once more. And he gets in, touchdown! The Jets go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. Brees Hall with the touchdown. They're on a close game. They needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Zerline on now for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Jets double their lead to 14. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Pierce now on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Houston's offense back out now, ready to go. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. They're out and set, first and 10. Looking to throw it. Pass taken in by Diggs. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Need to work as quick as you can here, Brock. Two timeouts left, down two scores. It's first down. Here he is to throw. 
The Jets get there and bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know what I call that, Kate? Punch? And you took a punch, but then you countered right back. You give up a big play, massive play, but you don't hang your head. You come right back, you get a sack of your own, and you change the momentum as quickly as you can. Now to throw. Gets this to Woods. And they're gonna haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. Houston calls it second timeout. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. Okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Throwing now. Complete beyond the marker. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. It's a gain of four there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. To throw. Finds a man right side. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. The clock rolls as the Texans try to hurry their offense to the line. Stroud off the play fake. Has it at the seven. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. To the air yet again. It's Stroud. And all right, it's a touchdown in the final moment. So win still very unlikely, but a sliver of hope now after that play. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, such so just a difference making receiver, King. Yep. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Texans chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. Texans 24. Ooh, their comeback hopes are dwindling by the second, but any path to victory starts with a successful onside try here. And the Jets come up with a football and should just about ice this game. No question they wanted the ball back late, but you don't see many of these recovered by the kicking team in the NFL. You see even fewer recovered when they're actually expecting it, like they certainly were right there. Final timeout called by the Texans. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So the win goes to the Jets. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kate, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one possession game. It's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish. So that's it for us here. Brock Keward, our crew, I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a well-earned win for the Jets as we say so long from New York.